All right, so I'm gonna be doing a review on this Harbor Freight McGraw air compressor that I just bought. I just bought the 21 gallon. Um, it's oil free and it's supposed to be pretty quiet, but um, it does 175 PSI and it says. Uh, so I'm gonna do a review on it and do an unboxing video and I'll let you guys know how it's I feel. Like a pretty on nice it. air compressor. I also bought a detailing stool and stuff, but uh, it, it's currently snowing in Georgia in the end of March makes no sense but um we're gonna be doing a review on this and an unboxing video so let's go ahead and get this thing out the truck All right, so we got it out the truck. Uh, it's actually pretty light. It's really easy to unload by yourself, but the statistics it says it's, you know, it's best for using little things. Um, it's okay if you use an impact on it. It's just not gonna be very good, but as far as like sanding and stuff, it's not good for that, but um, I got the upright one. I was varying on this one or the 20 gallon, 20 gallon. Um, I ended up picking this one because um, it had a little bit more PSI than the 20 gallon, and it's supposed to be quieter than the 20 gallon as well. And it's also oil free apparently. So the 20 gallon was not oil free. So this one was just all around a little bit better. It's, I think it was like $40 more. So it's definitely worth getting this for 40 more bucks than the 20 gallon. All right, so we got the box open. Um, comes with a nice little instruction manual. Everything's taped up really nice. Got some bolts. The wheel. Come out. It should come out. All right. Get the wheels. Put those right there. And here is the actual air compressor. Actually looks to be pretty nice. Um now how to get it out cut the box yeah i'll split the box so we're just going to split the box pull it open all right there she is she's actually it's actually very light you can get it out of the box yourself it's pretty easy get this out of the way um but yeah like i said it's pretty easy to unbox it's really light so let's go ahead and get this thing unwrapped we got to put the wheels on it um everything looks pretty assembled besides the wheels so let me just go ahead and slap those on real quick all right, so we got the wheels on it and I just have it roughly plugged up, but um, let's turn her on, see what it sounds like. pulls pretty fast and it's actually pretty quiet you go inside um, this is right near right near the wall that goes into the house so you know you can hear it inside the house but it's not really that bad um, which is what I was wanting because I'm in am in a residential neighborhood with neighbors that are pretty close so I wanted a pretty quiet compressor and this is definitely it I mean it might be loud on camera but that's, that's really not that loud I can still hear myself so it built up pressure pretty fast and it has a nice little control knob um, for the pressure. Um, I would test it, but I bought the wrong hose. I have to go back to Harbor Freight, pick up a exchange that. I bought a half inch hose instead of a quarter inch hose. So I'm gonna have to go exchange exchange the hose. But um, I guess in this same video, um, I'll do a review on building this Grant's detail seat. Uh, it's pretty, 
pretty nice seat for detailing. Um, this is what it's supposed to look like. Um, so let's go ahead and unbox this and put it together and see what it's Here like. it is, pretty well packaged. Um, I saw this seat when it first came out at Harbor Freight, but nobody had it in stock and they finally have it in stock now. Um, and I've been wanting it for a long time. Um, a seat like this is essential if you're gonna be doing detailing, especially polishing and stuff like that. Essential uh, because, you know, you don't wanna be bending down or, or sitting on the floor uh, polishing a car when you have to get to the lower panels and stuff. So it's easy to have a seat. And also if you're washing a car, you wanna do the wheels. Uh, it's easy just to sit in the stool and clean the wheels. So let's go get this. I'm not gonna lie, it's in a lot of pieces. Um, it looks pretty complex. Uh, so I'm gonna read these instructions, figure out how to put this together. And then I'll tell you guys. All right, so we got it all put together. It's actually a really big stool <laughs> with all the attachments on it. It's actually pretty large, but it's pretty nice. It has locking wheels, so if you're on a, he a hill, it won't go anywhere. And it's got nice little bottle holders. Um, I don't think it has a holder for the buffer. Um, but I mean, honestly, you could just set the buffer down. Um, but yeah, I mean, and it has a nice little storage compartment in the middle. You can get microfibers in so they don't get contaminated. Um, it's got some more storage back there. Um, but yeah, it's actually pretty comfortable. It moves really easy. Um, it actually moves super easy. So 10 out of 10 would recommend this for any detailer or maybe a mechanic too. Uh, I don't know how well it would do for a mechanic. Definitely a good haul today at Harbor Freight. Um, I definitely recommend the Grant's uh, detail tool, any detailers. Um, I don't know as far as being a mechanic, I don't know if I'd recommend it as a mechanic, but definitely as a detailer. And I definitely recommend that compressor if um, you're just looking for a cheaper option, um, as well as a quiet option. If you're in a residential neighborhood, that works perfect. Um, they had another one there. Uh, this one says it's 25% quieter. Uh, they had another brand there that said it was 50% quieter, but it was double the price. It was $500 instead of 280. So I went with the cheaper option. And I don't regret it yet. Um, I like it so far. I'm gonna have to run back to Harbor Freight, get a new hose and everything, but um, I'll let you guys know how well it works.